everybody, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am, ooh, I am going to move some things around just because Inti taught me a cool thing yesterday and I thought I had everything how I liked it. But we're actually going to put this right up here. There we go. Maybe a little bit. Oh, okay, sure. You know what? Yeah, sure. Make, make it nice and big. Um... I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as I'm doing this adjustment. And there's your bow time. There we go. That's good enough. Um, yeah, just doing some adjustment on my camera now that I know how, how to do it. There we go. There we go. I am I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying what Inti has taught me, which is exquisite um but yeah i am here back in paldea 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 um because i realized i haven't played on scarlet in a really long time and there's also some dlc that they're gonna sell and of course i'm gonna have to buy it of course um but yeah so i figure hey let's hop back in because i um on violet i'm back to like re refighting the gyms so i figure hey Let's go ahead and play. So, um, I have no idea what I've done so far. It looks like I have two more, um, Team Star to do. And then I have, uh, the Pokemon League. Awesome! Let me check out my Pokemon. Okay. So I'm trying to do a living dex um, in my boxes. So if I go all the way to box one, hello. Um, okay, okay, okay. And so I think that that's what I've been focusing on off stream. So as you can see, a living dex is having every single um, Pokemon and all their different stages. Um, so yeah, looks like I was actually doing quite well. I think here I'm trying to get the, um, a three family. Because here I have the four family. Um, we're also going to change, nope, 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 uh, nope, nope, nope. This one, there we go. Uh, the mouse hold three family. Um, I have both of them like in rocks. I have the star, I'm working on evolving the star ravia. These I'm going to do the different nectars for, but I can actually just buy the nectars, which is nice. Um, Petillil, I'm going to have to read to... Okay, 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 okay. Um, so, what team stars do I have to do? I'm sorry, it has been a hot second since I've been in this game. So, this one's the fairy. Yeah, fairy and... Fighting. So fairy, I should get a uh the a poison type Pokemon. So let's see what poison types I have. I need to get another Char Cadet. And then I need to get the uh different armors. Oh my gosh, there's so so much I have to do. Okay, I was about to say, I'm collecting the different floets. No, it's I need to evolve this one. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, here's the one I was thinking of. So let's go ahead, grab Toxicroak. And then I could probably even just use Staravia against the fighting type gym. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, I'm just, I'm just taking a peek. Little look see. Oh, I have to find the thing to evolve the Sinistee. Okay. Okay. You know, the best way to do these are going to be doing the raids. Okay, so I see here this is the last page. Gotcha. Gotcha, because I'm working on evolving this thing. Okay. I guess I wanted all the different forms of the Tatsugiri. Tatsugiri. Okay, awesome. Love that. Um, what we are going to do is check out the auction place to see if um, we can buy the thing for Sinistee. So we just have to keep checking in on that one. 
Okay, love this, love it. And then we'll take out the, we'll try and do story progression. Um, no, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons again. So we want Toxicroak to be first. There we go. Okay. There we go. Excellent, excellent. We. Okay. It should be in here. Moo Moo Milks, Luxury Balls, and Resistant Feathers. So, nope, they are not selling what I need, which I honestly don't remember what it is. Okay, so we're going to go here. Yeah, because the best way to finish the Pokedex is going to be getting the, the candies, the experience candies. And, um, yeah. So let's go ahead. If we see any gym battles, we will go ahead and do those. Because I want to make sure I can get those little prizes at the Poke Centers. So Desiree, the artist. Oh, this is actually a terrible type match matchup. So we are going to switch because Gothitelle is psychic. There we go. Skeledurge to the rescue. I'm so excited because I got my three starter Pokemon to level 100 in my Violet game. It's awesome. Not the fake tears. Claire, Narrer. Now, if you are also popping in because um, this is normally my stream time with Pinkish Amber, um, and we normally do Stardew Valley Expanded, Unfortunately, um, unfortunately, her internet is absolute shite right now. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, and she needs to be taking care of herself as well. So it might be a little bit until we can do some Stardew Valley Expanded. Okay, um, but also I want to catch this Vaporeon. Hello there. Do I have quick balls? I do. Oh, was that a crit capture? It was. Noise. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, I also see an item down there. Great, awesome, wow, perfect. Oh my gosh, why does this feel so laggy? Um, let's bring you over to all the other evolutions and I can see which one I wish to keep. Oh, I have missed this music. I will say that much. Okay. Huh, Vaporeon is like one of the very rare ones I have. Okay. So this one's a higher level. Higher attack. This one's lower special. Ooh. I think I'm going to have to keep the one that I have. Soray. I like the one I currently have better. Let's also get over to here. To be fair, one is a higher level than the Oh, I was looking at the um the ability and the what it what it uh affects on stats. Yeah, no, one one for sure is definitely the higher level, so obviously like a higher whatnot. But yes, no. Uh I was looking at the abilities. Would you be so as kind as to indulge me in a quick battle? Oh, I think I already accidentally triggered this cutscene. I did not buy the DLC yet, only because I'm very super duper broke and I'm trying really hard to get better with spending. Um, so I probably will get it before the first chapter comes out. Um, 
but I figure I might as well actually finish my Scarlet game because I, I finished Violet, but I never actually finished Scarlet. <laughs> okay. I'm indulging you in a battle. I must have accidentally triggered this. Would you like a Hisuin Zora? Um, I'm good for now. I, I'm just working on my living Pokedex right now and actually completing the, uh, the storyline because I have not done that in Scarlet yet. I've done it in Violet, just not in Scarlet. So I figured today is going to be a good day. I'm going to try and finish it out, defeat the Pokemon League, do Area Zero. Patram, it's not part psychic. So I'm actually going to go ahead and send out Meowskarada. Maybe do some um, terror raids online to get um, experience candies. But I want to finish out the, um, the storyline so I can actually get higher raids. Wait, he's swing Zora. What does he swing Zora even look like? Hold up. He swing. He swing Zorua. Oh, I have he swing Zorua. Yeah, I have that. I got it. We're good. We're Gucci fam. I have one. <laughs> oh right, cause yeah, cause I played Pokemon Legend and Arceus. Duh. Hi, my br I have a brain. Hi, my name is Sam Modnar. I have a brain. Also, welcome in Slash Attack. How are you doing today? Oh, sweet. Staravia is evolving. I have to figure out what team I want to use against the fighting Team Star. There we go. Got another one in the books. Close combat. I'm not a big fan of close combat. Virusin, hello! How are you doing today? An outstanding performance. However, be aware that young Master Ortega's battle prowess far surpassed my paltry skills. <gasps> Virusin, you got first! Yes, GG! Now, if you'll excuse me. Asta la vista! Oh, and you got not first! <laughs> To talk with you again. That gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy, I think? At least, at least that's what I heard. Now he's like tutoring the boss or something. He shows up here sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubting you're here to make trouble, so I gotta go let everyone know. Hasta la vista! How are you doing today, Virusin? Long time no see. Rotototototo! I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. That base belongs to Team Star's fairy crew, the Rukshba Ruch Squad? I don't know how to say this stuff. Their boss, Ortega, is the mechanic of the team. Doing good. Just tired after school. Nice. I barely got any sleep last night, so I'm, I'm surprised that I'm even upright. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him. <sighs> I think this will go south for you quickly. He's also a real lead from the back type. He gets his grunts to do all the dirty work for him. But his weak point is his short fuse. Get him good and angry and he'll march out to the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just tough it out until, until Ortega shows up and go from there. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Ruxbach squad off the map. Now, my goal today is finish out the storyline. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, do I want to use Talonflame against the last one? I feel like I prefer Talonflame over Staravia. There we go. Um, so I need to breed a Petalil. So I can evolve one into a Lilligant. But I need to figure out what flying type I want to use against the last star team. Team star. <gasps> <sighs> 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 
da, 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 da. I mean, I could use salamance. Let me see. Our team star Pokemon bosses. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, these are rematches. I don't. I don't want. I just want to know what they're going to battle with. Oh my gosh. Um. There we go. Okay, Yuri. Yeah, I could probably use Talonflame. Or Salamance. If I'm being all, if I'm being honest. Okay. Um. Ba -ba -da -da -ba. I'm still sad about them removing Ash from the series as the main character. It's my childhood good. I feel like they should have removed him a long time ago. I. I. Every season should have been a new protagonist. Ooh. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's how I feel. He never grew up. He never aged. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I feel like they should have either had him age. Like, if he had at least aged, I don't think I would have had an issue. But they should have had him age, and then they should have... Or have a different protagonist each series, each like season. But the fact that he never grew, like he never aged, like that that threw me. You know what? I've never used a kilowattrol. I would have wanted him to age too. Yeah, either have him age or. Uh, but you're kind of. I think I'm gonna go with Talonflame. Because uh, Talonflame is one of my favorite flying type Pokemons. Where's Talonflame? There we are. Okay, so we're going to have you here. So you can gain some experience. And let's use whatever I have on Toxicroak. Because I think you should be at least 55. Almost there. Elch? Nah, fam. But, yeah, so that, that that's my thing with Ash, is either have him age or different protagonists. So, there we go. Dr. Crook's level 55. We're gonna do a cheeky save. Okay, let's go. Um... But I just didn't like that he didn't age. And so, yeah, nostalgia, it's going to be sad that he's gone. Age never changed. He's going to travel until he's 90. <laughs> um, it's going to be sad that he's gone because, you know, he is the basis of Pokemon. But it's like, how many different art styles? And how, I, Yeah, I'm just, yeah. So. Um, I do wish to find... Oh, no, Skeledurge is... There we go. I'm sorry, it is really laggy having this on my uh, computer monitor. Um, because it's so big, it, it doesn't play the same way. Um, are you still gonna be in it just as much? Yeah, like, and which is good. I feel like that's what they should have been doing from the beginning. Like, either let them age. Or, um, you know, have them be a recurring character. Why, why is none of my, why are none of my Pokemon, okay. I was about to say, come on out, my Pokemon. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, the reactivity is so different on my computer than it is on Switch. Like, when I'm just playing on my Switch. But no, that's how it should have been. He should have been... If they wanted him as a main character, he should have aged. And then once he got too old, they should have had him as a recurring character. Come on. Literally, I just need one more. I was about to say, come on. 
Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. This is one of my favorite Rev of Rooms. Yeah, because now it feels unfinished since he's still... Yeah, exactly. Like, at least if he grew up, it would be like a passing of the torch. Ortega, you're adorable. Huh, so you're Sam. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. Well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Not like I'm going to lose to you anyway. I think you if you think fairy types are all about cuteness, you're in for a nasty surprise. Okay, let's go. I promise I'll play nice, so don't blame me when this battle sends you blubbering back home. Yeah, I'm just gonna terrestrialize now. Make things go a little faster. As the zoomer roll is uh, is very b beefy, so I'm glad I terrestrialized. Wiggly tough, nah, fam. I terrestrialized. My Pokemon's staying out. I still need to get Sword and Shield and actually play through those. But again, I repeat, I am a broke bitch. There we go. Yeah, we're just gonna like one shot all the Pokemon. Oh, shoot. Cute charm. <gasps> oh, no. You killed your true love. <laughs> Dashbun. I shall keep Toxicroak out. Toxicroak. I like Toxicroak. It's, it's a good Pokemon. I never really used it much, but it's a good Pokemon. There we go. Just one hit KO. That's how I like it to go. And now it's Rev of Room. What the heck? Why is my team on the ropes? That's totally not fair. It's because I have Google and I looked up who your team is and I especially, especially uh, leveled up my Pokemon to uh, defeat you. Oh, it's the next one that needs to be... Okay. Um, well, it's part steel, so I can't poison it. Ouch. That actually hit kind of hard. But this music is rocking. Can you hear the music? Is the music okay? Is it too low for y'all? It looks a little low. Yes, that's how I would like it to be done. Oh, not the confused ray. No, please. I do not like this. Eww. Please don't. Ay-ya. Uh, ya uh, Okay. There we go. Just one more hit. Um, We'll try the poison jab. But if I get hit by a uh, confusion, that's going to be bad. Oh, thank you, Toxicroak. Oh, that's lovely. Easiest of the star. Team Star. Star. Why did I say it that way? <laughs> there we go. Bye bye. Yay. That was an easy win. Ugh, how can I lose? What the heck? Oh, Could I hurt your itty bitty little feelings? About a year and a half ago. Ugh, what the heck? Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you, it's not a toy, it's called a Starmobile, and I was up all night building it. Problem's clear that we're not giving it enough juice. You designed this thing to be powered by two Charcadet, but it's just too heavy. 
That's such a shame. I want to see the looks on our bullies' faces once we got it moving. I'm sorry. I really thought it would work. Come on, good fella. It's no occasion for melancholy. Mel melon melancholy. Ha ha. Why, to make a, such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand. Genius, thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all the effort would have zero payout, I'd just have his mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that? What? Mella, cool it, would ya? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we even put in this in the code for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents, our bags, or cash to fix our problems for us. Or did you forget? That hunk of junk don't, doesn't move, get it moving. If we're short on juice, just gotta crank up the power somehow. It doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy, easy enough to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? Yep, I'm gonna train up my cart target and have them evolve. Their boosted firepower will get the Starmobile moving. No sweat. But the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Melly, wait! You know, Mella shoots off her mouth an awful lot, but she means well. I know. God, this sucks. No, Team Star actually has a pretty good storyline. They were bullied, and then they became the bullies. This sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down, and going against that our code would make me a traitor to the team. God, fine. It's not like I have a choice anyway, so take the badge already. Treat it with the respect it deserves. Yay! We got it. We did it. I'm not done yet. Here's my favorite TM2. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. Thank you. I humbly accept your donation. And just so you know, you are the worst. Like the most annoying person ever. But I get it. You're super strong. I'll admit that much. You even bust on my Starmobile. Young Master Ortega. Mr. Harrington. I guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss title, so I'm all good to head on home. Ah, actually, a different matter brought to me. There's somebody I would like you to meet. He's a mm, distant acquaintance of mine. Name's Clive. Okay, what's your business here? I want you to tell me something. You're the son of a wealthy family and the heir to a major apparel company. So why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you've just met. Well, my answer's the same as everyone else in the team. It's because I was being bullied. The academy really did used to have an issue with bullying. Who would guess, right? The school's all rainbows and butterflies these days. The bullies from back then don't even get to go to the academy anymore. Why? What happened to them? As the former director of the academy, I believe I am best positioned to answer that question. Mr. Harrington, about 18, month ago, 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them, and an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of hitherto unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students had per perpetrated the bullying, dropped out of the academy, one after another. But, but there aren't any records of that anywhere in the academy. No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all records of the incident, you see. What? Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with the team star in the aftermath of an incident, a certain student came to see me. To see me. The student declared that they would take all the responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate the other team students of Team Star from any blame. Huh? No, no one told me that. I accept the request and agreed not to take any disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I assigned, I assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team. This is why I knew who it was. It's Penny. It's Penny. A year and a half study abroad. That was not the. This was not the intended. This was not intended as a punishment. You understand. Team Star were the victims after all. I wanted the student to take some time to rest, so I had them return home to the Galar region under the pretext of overseas study. Around that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the academy servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing. That's terrible. After we discovered what he'd done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course, but the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to present, prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame and that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handing in their notices. So that's why all the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. Yeah, my sincere apologies. 
Hang on, Mr. Harrington. How come you suddenly decide to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega's Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. Well, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Not after we've come this far. Your friends and Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's because, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. Oh, he found their treasure. Okay. One more Team Star to do. And then we can take on the Pokemon. Well, we finish out the Team Star uh, storyline. And then we head on to the Pokemon League. Sam, it's me. I take it that Ortega handed over Star Badge to you then. I see. With his boss no longer around, the Rockbach squad is as good as finished. Even Ortega. I'm sorry. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation's been a huge success, huge success thanks to you, Sam. And Clive has also performed admirably as your support. Remember him saying that you're acquaintances. Have you known each other long? No, not that long. Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. Back in what day? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star, though you could hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all bolted from the battle first chance they got. Scared spitless of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school one after another, and Team Star ended up the villains of the story. But that's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Now, about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Yay, I have a lot of LP. You can't see it, I have 167,000. And I can make more TMs! Make good use of those TMs, they should help you take down the last remaining boss. My supply unit rep will be along soon to give you your bonus reward. There we go! And that's where, like, when this happened in Violet, I was like, oh, so that Cassiopeia is the leader of Team Star. Though I was, I had the like I had an inkling that's who it was it's like after each boss they'd be like make the the comments about oh even so and so and da 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 and I always knew that Penny was the I, I always knew Penny was Cassiopeia I always knew it I knew it oh uh, here I am uh, yes well, stay in your pokeball for once will you <laughs> aww ah Well, Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted the bullies to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. If even one of them had been paying attention to where ever, to when everyone was getting bullied, they'd have been able to tell the way, right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everyone to face their bullies despite knowing how messed up the academy is. What a massive idiot, creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. I don't know about that. You're calling yourself an idiot. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. Lots of Pokemon materials. Next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, Sam. Yay. Okay. So. We have to go to here. We can put away Toxicroak. We'll, we'll put away Toxicroak. Let's heal first. I wonder, does the DLC add anything yet other than the uniforms? Thank you. Okay. So you're 176. I believe you were top row. There you are. I have a memory. Um, so town flame is a little on the weaker side. You're level 55. Do I have a flying type that's like Decently strong. You're 58. 
Yeah, I'll take you, Iron Jugulus. Got him from a wonder trade or surprise trade. Okay. Let's see if I've done enough battles for this guy. Oh, uh, I guess not. Yeah, hello. Okay. And there. Because I think I still need a few of those. Oh, wrong button again. How many gimme cool coins do I have? Oop, that, this is not. Okay, I'm gonna at least get rid of the red mark. Oof. That's a gleam. Sorry, I just have to stretch. <clears throat> okay. Give me equal coin. Oh, I only have 541. Okay. Let's get rid of the red mark. Because I hate having little red notifications. Even on my phone, I hate it. Oh, that was all. Awesome. Okay, um... How about we go into... Wait. If I go into boxes, I can rearrange them. We'll have Tower Flame. No, because don't you have a flying... Yeah, you have acrobatics. Awesome. Have I fought you over here? Oh, I haven't even started the cutscene. Okay. Rotototo. <clears throat> I see you're almost at the fifth base. Hold up inside there is Team Star's last remaining squad. You fought well to make it this far. Thank you, Sam. Sam, Cassiopeia. So you made it as well, Clive. Of course, it's the last base. I wouldn't want to miss out on the action. Clive, I owe you my thanks. Your help has been invaluable to the operation. I'm sorry I was where it was so wary of you at first well that's all water under the bridge when we're finished with this base will that be the end of operation starfall then not quite we'll seem to handle team star secret mastermind last of all do you have any leads on how to find them i'm hoping they'll come out into the open once all the squad bosses have stepped down i see i'm so far only a few more steps left don't let me down either of you <clears throat> Cassiopeia is hung up? All right. Thanks to you, Sam. I've slowly but surely come to understand Team Star. I know what I need to do, and I know what my final decision will be. For that, I can't thank you enough. Take care in that base, Miss Sam. Ah, sorry for getting all polite there. Don't know what came over me. Okay. But seriously, have I already taken you on? Looks like I have. Okay, awesome. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Why are there so many Pokemon? <laughs> You're pretty skilled. Not many trainers can shrug off my Pokemon's attacks like that. The same to you. Airy, was it? Your Pokemon have clearly spent a lot of time honing their moves, but I'm surprised to find the boss herself out here defending the gates. Don't you trust your grunts enough to put them on guard duty? Watch your mouth. I'm here because I don't want to risk anyone else getting hurt, that's all. What a benevolent boss. Now, if you want to get on our on with our battle, I'm already on my side. Say something. Who are you? Sam, there you are. I started talking to this girl since she looked like she was with Teen Star. Then she and her Pokemon came at me with, without warning. We were just battling it out. Riri, I knew you'd be out here. Carmen. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, honestly. Now get away from here. It's not safe. I'll take over guarding the base, Riri. You should get back inside. No, I won't back down. I can't. Oh, Riri, you need to stop this. Until the big boss comes back, I have to protect all of you of the Cath Squad. And everyone else in Team Star 2. That's why you should go back in the base and rest up, even just a little bit. As boss of a squad, I, I just can't. Riri, please, I'm your friend. Listen to what I'm saying. Fine, I'll go. I'm sorry, Carmen. Hey, that's no way to sign off. Let me hear a loud Asta La Vie star from you, nice and loud. Ah, Asta La Vie star! <clears throat> I 
I'm your opponent now, you two. Come on, I'll take you both down. Hey, Sam. My Pokemon are and I are actually running on empty after that last battle. Sorry to spring this on you, but do you think you could handle this run alone? Yeah, of course. Thanks, I'll be cheering for cheering you on from the sidelines. <clears throat> I'll protect Riri with everything I have. You ready to battle? <clears throat> Excuse me, apparently I'm not ready. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I'm so ready. Then here I come. Let's go. Crowagunk. <clears throat> I literally just defeated one with a Toxicroak, so. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Air Slash. Yeah, being part dark type is actually probably not that good because fighting is strong against dark. Oops. Primeape? Nah, fam. There we go. <clears throat> I lost, but my defeat's not the one that matters. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I have a thing in my throat. Even if all I did was buy Riri a bit of time, that's fine. My job here is done, so I'll head back inside. Hasta la vista! Rotototo. I take you to feed the guard out front. Yep, as per usual. That base is run by Team Star's fighting crew, the Calf Squad. Their boss, Iri, is a skilled wrestler and coaches the whole Team Star on Pokemon battling. Of all the bosses, she'll likely be the most alert of hostilities after our declaration of war. She may try to stop this raid in its tracks by challenging you to battle before anyone else. Yeah, we already met. I knew it. Tell me what happened. She retreated. We're talking about the same Eerie, right? Seems there's nothing for it now but to attack the base head on. Ring the bell at the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the calf squad off the map. Yep, let's go! <clears throat> I'm, I'm ready! Like, I just wanna, I wanna complete the game. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go! Does it ever take anyone actually 10 minutes to do this? I'm trying to send out Pokemon. I'm literally hitting R. There we go. Oh, Quickwaval is getting low on health. I'll go to the uh, vending machine. Hold up. I'm just going to stop by here real fast. Yeah, I refreshed my party. Okay, there we go. Noish, 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 noish. She's got skills. Yes, I do. Let's go. Sorry, I'm not saying much. I'm kind of just zoning out. Ooh, a Gallade. That's a cool Pokemon. I had to refresh my Pokemon again. Quipkavol is actually a lot weaker than I thought it would be. 
Ooh. Okay, three more. Let's go. And we should be done. We did it! Yay! I don't think we can hold her off much longer, boss. Oh, I hear a gimme ghoul. Let's go! Let's fight Eerie. Eerie? Eerie? Irie? I don't know. Let's fight Riri. It doesn't matter who you are, I'll bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time, I won't run away. <laughs> okay, let's see how long we'll do. I'm not gonna... Well, what's your terrorization? Is it dragon or... The base is precious. So I won't let this raid of yours go any further. Oh, yeah! Let's do this! It'll get rid of the, uh... It'll get rid of the dark typing, so then it won't be as susceptible to the fighting type moves. Excellent! <laughs> See, I had it planned out this whole time. <laughs> Okay. Ah, one, sh one hit. <coughs> Nihilate. Nah, fam. Nihilate is pretty cool looking. Oh, it was not a one hit. Oof. But you flinched. Ha <laughs> ha, sucker. Let's go. A simian. Uh, no, I shall not switch up my Pokemon. I'm doing quite well in fact. Excuse me. Lucario, no, we are good, fam. This should I, I didn't check, but this should be our last one. Oh strong boy. Ouch. It's fine. I give as good as I get. That's a promise. We'll see who's left standing in the end. Yeah. Oh, no. He's, we still have one more after Lucario. For the, I think before the Rev of Room. Oh, sh oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I may switch to Talonflame for Rev of Room. I can just let Iron Juggles. Okay, Rev of Room is the last one. Virasan has done for the games. Since my Pokemon are fighting, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you, Virasan, for helping me stay healthy ish. <laughs> Okay, we're at least faster than the Starmobile. Can we two shot this? Well, the defense just rose, so probably not. It'll probably be a three shot. This music, though. Oh, it is a two shot! Yay! Sweet! There we go, how it's done. 
Nice and easy. I'm so sorry, everyone. About a year and a half ago. <sighs> I'm so sorry, I think I found you... this on the web. Oh, shush. I'm so sorry, I think I went a little too far. Nah, don't worry about it. We're the ones who asked you to put us through some tough battle practices so we can train up. Yeah, but truly you need not apologize, my lady. Thanks to thy sage instruction, I am making swift strides towards mastering the art of battle. I could never have evolved my Pokemon without you, Yuri. Even the big boss says this thanks to you that we have a fighting chance against our bullies. See, nothing but gratitude. Tess, you're the brightest star in the whole team. <laughs> Come on, quit being silly. Um, just one thing. We've been training for four whole hours now. I'm totally pooped. I'm sorry, you all should really take a break. I'll go run. I'll go for a run while you rest up. My lady, before I've each trained in our turn, but you, our steadfast mentor, have not rested, have rested not once. I cannot help but to worry for thy health. Thank you for your concern, Atticus, but lately I feel like I can take anything. Even if I'm really tired, I feel like crying. Remember that time we all got together and ripped on the gym badge designs to create our very own star badges? Well, I don't know what it is, but just looking at my star badge makes me feel stronger. Like I want to give it my all. I gave my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. Giving very big Lisa vibes. I can't. I'm pretty sure I'm worthless if I can't be of service. You showed amazing strength. Even if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I'd want you to have this. Cute. I'd like to see you try out my trademark move too. Here, this one's for you. Okay. 10-4. Okay. Uh, I know you're part of Operation Starfall, but I could tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. The way your Pokemon look at you with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor and look away for a moment. This is a bitch much for me to take. I really, I just, really, ah! Looks like it's all over. Oh, Riri. This is the team star member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a talk. What did you want to ask me? You seem to be much friendly terms with Eerie compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that. Well, all right, I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to hate Riri. She's an amazing trainer and athlete, and she's really pretty, too. It took her no time at all to become popular at the academy. I was, the queen of, I was queen of the class before she came along, then everyone liked her more than me. So let me guess, you started to pick on her? Pretty much. I got her classmates to join in, too. We were all so stupid. But in the end, kids are always fickle, and once, so once one thrill wears off, they look for something new. Before long, the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it. But then Riri, she chose to help me even though I had been so horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side. And she invited me into Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that. What a kind girl. She really is. And joining the team has worked out great for us. It's been so much fun. Fun? There are rumors that Team Star likewise engages in bullying. After hearing my story, do you really think that's true? Ah, uh, no. I merely... Riri and the rest of Team Star made me who I am today. Please, don't take away our greatest treasure. There we go. There we go. Last team star. Now we have to figure out the who who the leader is. Rotototo. Sam, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim Eerie's star badge? Without its boss, the calf squad should be a hair's breadth from disbanding. So Eerie was the last. All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star long before long now that they've lost their special positions. After that, they should soon be back attending classes at the academy. Nice work out there, Sam. Is that Clive I've here? Cassiopeia, well done to you too. Thanks. Now about your reward, Sam. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. There we go, 20,000. I'm almost 200,000 LP, which I don't really use much. <laughs> I can now make more types of TMs. Oh, that reminds me. I'm doing the whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? Indeed, you can go ahead and give Sam her bonus reward now. Thank you. At long last, 
At long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat, defeat the big boss and have Team Star bis disband for good. Where's the big boss? Don't worry, there's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss is none other than me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long, but the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star. Back then, the members of the team were my closest friends, and I treasured them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give it up, so I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Sam, I'll be waiting for you in the school courtyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. Understood. And I'll see you both there. Thankfully, it's after dark now, so we can just go right away. So Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time. I scarcely thought it possible, but with this revelation, I just might have an inkling as to their true identity. It seems we'll find our answers after dark in the Academy schoolyard. Yes, pre let's prepare as best as we can before heading over. Yep. Jump over everyone. <laughs> okay, heal my Pokemans. And then I got to re readjust my team for Cassiopeia. Thank you. Okay. I think it was box 15. I hate that you, the Pokemon takes so long to show up. Like, ah. One more. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. We're here. And then Talonflame. Was box one? Yeah. Okay. So. Basically, we should just have a well-rounded team. Oh, that's why Quick of All was having such difficulties. It's only level 46. Okay. Um, so fire, dark, fire, best. Uh, um, let's go back to 15. I wish I had an iron jugulus or iron val valiant. 14. Because the artifacts will be good. Um, King Gambit's pretty good. I know we have a dark with Meowscarada, but King Gambit is pretty awesome. How are you? Slowbro is also one of my favorite Pokemon to use, but we have a water type. I don't want too much overlapping. Um... Which was pretty good. You know what? We'll use Toxicroak. Because Tox Toxicroak is pretty awesome. There we go. Okay, let's go. To Mesagoza. Hey, howdy, hey, let's go. Hello? Sorry, I'm always hitting the wrong buttons. It's Clive. Hello, Clive. Sup, Sam? Oh, come on, the name's Clive, remember? Actually, no. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Ha-ha! See, I knew it was you the whole time, old man. I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of Naranja Academy. Mr. Clavel. I already knew that. What? But my disguise was perfect! Although, now that I think about it, I did neglect to keep up my youthful act on a few occasions. That must have been what gave me away. Regardless, there is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along! That's impossible. Honest to goodness! 
When you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off using, or, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Oh, yes, it was very clever. So, Miss Sam, now you know that I'm the big boss. That means there's just one thing left to do. Also, but, you know, you seem, like, surprised. Everyone's stories. The big boss knows everyone's stories. I'm just saying it's not possible, Director Clavel. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. Director, there are students all around watching us right now. Like, is this really what you want to be doing? A Rangaroo. Okay, a Rangaroo is psychic fighting, I believe. I am Cassiopeia of Team Star. With this battle, I will finally bring Operation Starfall to an end. Let's see. Ooh, Night Slash is super effective. Bite is super effective. I'm actually going to send out King Gambit. Because I think it's psychic fighting, even though fighting's strong against dark. I don't know. I like King Gambit. Oh, don't do the yawn. How wooed. Okay, well, let's just do the kowtow cleave. Oh my gosh. I didn't even one shot you? Rude. So we're just gonna go ahead and use an awakening. I have 15 of them, so let's go. Now play, not very effective. We're just gonna use a night slash. Stop yawning! It's rude! Even though I keep yawning on stream. Oh no. <laughs> Who are you sending out next? Noise. What does Quokeval want to learn? Liquidation. Nah, we're good. Gyarados. We shall switch our Pokemon to Meowskarada. Okay. Love Meowskarada. It's so cute. We are going to do flower tricks so that it gets past that attack loss. Stone Edge shouldn't hurt too much. It's working on our level 16, if I can add. <laughs> I've not done a lot of terror raids, so I don't have really strong Pokemon. Obama Snow, yes. We are going to send out Skeleturge. I can smell my roommate's cooking and now I'm hungry. <laughs> Making hamburgers for lunch, which are going to be delicioso. Started to snow. Ugh. I miss snow so badly. There we are. Poltergeist. We'll keep Skeletor's out because it's Ghost and I have that bite. Ooh, this gonna hurt. This gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. It hurt! <laughs> Just a little bit. It hurt a little bit. <laughs> well, that's why I have King Gambit. So let's get King Gambit back out. <gasps> oh, gain strength from the fallen. Noise. That's going to increase its defense. That's fine. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Super effective. <laughs> and what's your last Pokemon? Amoongus. There's a Fungus Amoongus. 
Oh, I would have sent out Skeletors. We'll do Quickwaval. Quickwaval might be a little too weak for Fungus. Or Quaquaval. I keep saying Quaquaval. <laughs> okay. It is level 60, but. Oh, it's gonna be two shot. Two shot. Okay, you just have to survive. Oh, you just have to survive one. That's, that's rough, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna send out Meowscarada. So I'm going to send out Toxicroak. I'm going to revive a couple of Pokemon. I'm going to revive Qu Quackleball because I want it to get the experience. I'm also going to revive um, Skeletors to fight the Amoongus. Spore, okay. Sleep is okay. The snow stopped. No, not the snow. Now there are there is another Pokemon after Amoongus. We're gonna revive Skeletors. Hex. I'm okay with that. Ooh, maybe. And then we're going to max potion Skeletors. After this, I might actually have to go do um, terror raids to get experience candies. <laughs> That's fine. We're going to send in Skeletors. And I am going to revive Toxicroak. Nah, I'm not. It's okay if you don't. Oh my gosh, wherever they're cooking smells really good. And I kind of really want some. I'm getting pretty hungry. Oh, okay. <sighs> Yay, I did it. Oh, Skeletors, yeah. Uh, hmm. You know what? I'm gonna heal up Quackaval. Think that I, Cassiopeia, would be backed into a corner like this. You're not Cassiopeia. You're fooling no one. Okay. We're gonna max potion our Quackaval. Very well. It seems I will shall have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. I'm going to see what Skeletors can do before he faints. And then I'll terrestrialize, um... Volkoval. Yeah, this is going to hurt. Yep, that's fine. I planned on that. Okay, Qualquaval, can you take out a Pokemon that is a little bit stronger than you? We shall give it a shot. This music is actually kind of relaxing. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, it's going to take two shots. As long as Skeletors doesn't make me faint in one shot, we should be fine. Okay, and I have the faster speed. Excellent. There we go. We did it. There we go. We defeated Director Clavel. 
<sighs> How strong you have grown. Okay, now what's up? Very well, Miss Sam. Or well now, it seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I'm not actually Cassiopeia, though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden, but I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. That is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win, so I challenge you to battle to test your skill. If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve. But it turns out you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task. But please defeat Cassiopeia, take on the big boss of Team Star, and win. Leave it to me. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I leave this in your hands. You there! What do you think you're doing? Ah, Miss Time, a pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Clavel. I came, I come to here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself, facing off against one of our students, no less. What were you thinking? Uh, no, if I could just explain. You see, it is a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me. Your, your excuses reek worse than a stucky's behind. A stuck is b b behind? Ahem. <clears throat> Remember, the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. I'm counting on you, Miss Sam. You'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once, and I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistake. Good gracious, no. Anything but that, I implore you. Okay, so it is now light. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do some terror rating. Are we son taking on Arvin? Maya, Maya, what am I doing? Okay, well, we're gonna take on terror raids the rest of the stream. Is um my Pokemon are weak? <laughs> I have weak Pokemon. I can't, I can't do on this. So we'll 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 take on terror raids. Um and actually, I think. Okay, let's put everyone back where they belong. There we go. Um, we are gonna keep Arctobax because we need to evolve him. So I think what I can actually do so if I get to Poke Portal, oh my gosh, it smells so good. My stomach is rumbling. Connect to the internet. And do Terror Raid Battle. Oh, hello? Oh no. There we go. And then, um, oh, no new postings. I go to random. Okay. I guess I have to defeat the Pokemon League to be able to, like, join in battles. Okay. Um, then I think what's going to be best for me is to, um go around and doing my own terror raids um Anna say we can do this it's just a pachirisu it's just a pachirisu oh my gosh this poor pachirisu there we go okay uh shall long oh and um. Natomi? I, I'm really bad at here, the Ghana. Okay, Nana say, let's go. I'm really bad at Natomi. I think that's Natomi. While we wait for this person to start the battle. There we go.
Oh, it's Hatomi. Hatomi. Not Natomi. Hatomi. Let's go. Oh, the three girls have the same hair. It's the best hairstyle. Other than the space buttons. But if you want to wear the hats, Hatomi. Literally, we're going to one shot this poor Pachirisu. Why are they getting dizzy? Or com dizzy, confused. So yeah, I think I'm gonna um, do Terra Battles. Okay, anyone wanna join in for Terra Raids? NT, hello! How are you? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh, I should probably be catching everything. Whatever. It's fine. Okay, so yeah, I'll do- I'll just go to my own terror battles and just go through them you're just off of work nice 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 i myself am enjoying some nice there we go some nice pokemon just relaxing i have to remember that i'm very um Oh, I see a gimme ghoul. I need I need to collect these. I need these bad boys. Oh, except when you only give me one. Um I've been playing on Violet so much. Okay. Let me go ahead. Fighting. You don't have any fighting type moves. I should just go get Toxicroak. I need to like start memorizing where these Pokemon are, what boxes they're in. There we go. Yeah, if anyone in chat would like to join for some Terra Raids, just let me know. Um, I'll probably be doing Terra Raids for the next rest of the stream. Uh, so that the next time I stream Pokemon, I will be able to just take out the Pokemon League and Cassiopeia. And Arden, and just go into area zero, and yeah, just, you know, do the rest all in one stream. You have no fighting type moves either. What was I thinking? At least it's only a three star. So I know I want to get my three starter Pokemon to level 65 um, before I take on anything else. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. This Dragon Breath should do it. There we are. At work, I have sort of become a weird document makeup artist. My coworker here, I've written four pages. Can you make them look pretty? Hey, that's a very important skill. That is a very important skill set. I don't want to catch you. <laughs> I am working on a living deck, but I don't know what Pokemon I have and what Pokemon I need. Oops. So after each Terra Raid, I'll use whatever candy I get to level up my Pokemon for, I guess... In general, I guess I need to figure out what my, because back, back to Jason, whatever it's called, um, will be on my team. So let's start with Skeledurge. 60 is good. Um, I like Torch Song. 
Problem though, our software tracks changes by lines, and when I'm done with the entire document, it's marked as changed. Oh, uh, yeah, but th that's not the worst thing in the world, is it? Actually, you know what? We're just gonna. No, we'll we'll save the rare candies. Okay, next dragon. I'll need a fairy or ice type. Oh my gosh, I have an ice type in my party. Depending on what how many stars it is. It looks like I've rewritten everything and the people feel bad. Oh. That makes sense, yeah. But if they asked you to change it. <laughs> Okay. If they asked you to make it look pretty, if they read it, they'll realize that you haven't actually changed it. But who knows? People are fickle. And I hate to say this, but like, because growing up, everyone's always like, stop being so sensitive. And that's become like a trigger for me. But some people really are too sensitive. I, and I'm not talking about, like, you know, with anxiety, asking people, like, hey, this makes me uncomfortable, humana humana. I'm just talking about, like, people... I'm noticing this at work, that if someone says something that someone doesn't agree with, then they get offended. And I'm, like, I'm rarely ever offended. You could say anything, and I'll be like, okay, cool, haha. <laughs> So you have to disable tracking, do massive makeup changes, and then enable tracking again. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, people have been like, I didn't like that they talked about this at work. And then they report it to the leaders. And then that person gets in trouble. And it's like, stop being so sensitive. Stop being so sensitive. I'm actually going to catch you. I feel like I need a Sarina. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes you never know what triggers people. So like, but that's the thing is, as long as you're an adult about it and talk to person, be like, hey, like this makes me uncomfortable, instead of going behind them back their back and just like talking bad about them just because they said one thing that you don't like. Sorry, sorry. This is yeah. Sorry. <laughs> now I'm triggered. My. It's Gucci. As long as you're making people happy, doing what they're asking you to do. Okay. Um. No, not the button I wanted to press. Not the button I wanted to press. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let me see if I actually needed this one. What number are you? Eighty-two. Mm, I do not need you. So I shall release. Okay. What is our next one? I'm gonna go over to this dark type and then we'll go over to the fire. Oh, but oh, it's, it's right there. Also, let's use the. What do I have in here that's. Okay. What's in here that's new? Okay, and what's in here that's new? Okay, good. Um, do, do, do. Let's do one at a time, because I don't want it to get above 60. Oh, well. Because I don't want it to get above 65. Oh, uh, yeah, no, we're fine. Funny thing is, first I do enable all control because I'm going to do double space and return keys and people press space and return like five times. Yeah, I'm guilty of that. <laughs> I'm guilty of that. Oh, I did not see this little sun kern. <coughs> okay. So who's going to be on my final team? I like using the three starters because they have done me well. So let's see. 
Um, we still need two more. Let me look up. Do, 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 do. Pokemon Violet. Pokemon League. There we go. So we have. Oh my God. Rika uses ground type, so I can use Quick Evolve for that. Um, Poppy uses steel, so um, Skeletors for that. Larry uses flying, so I can use Arctabax because I have ice for that. Except Oracorio is going to be fire flying. Ooh. Um, but I can use Quick Evolve for Oracorio. Then Hassel uses Dragon, which I can use Arctabax for. And then, do I have something for Psychic? I have Meowscarada. Do I have something for Dark Steel? I can use Skeletors. Ooh, but Dark's gonna be strong against that. Uh, for Ice, Skeletors, Water, Psychic, I can use Mascarada, Rock, Poison, I can use Quiquival. So I need something for King Gambit. So Fighting? Okay. So Steel... Yeah, fighting, because then dark is also weak against fighting. So if I get a really strong fighting type. Let's pick a copyright on that one. Hold up, sorry. Ah, it's fine. Okay. Um, I get a really strong fighting type. You know what? My roommate uses this, and I think I'm going to use it. If I can just remember where it is. There it is. My roommate uses Flamigo. So we're going to use Flamigo. Oops, I used, I hit the wrong button. And then what do I want to be my last Pokemon on my team? Um, how about King Gambit itself? King Gambit's pretty cool. I like King Gambit. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be my team for the Pokemon League and Arden and all that other stuff. So this is the team that I need to get everyone to 65. Oh, two star. Oof. Okay, well, it's dark type, so I can use fighting. But you are too young, my friend. So we're going to use Quick Quivall. It doesn't have any fighting type moves, so that's fine. It's like a two star. So then when I go off stream, I'll just keep terror rating um, just to get my Pokemon to level 65. And when they're level 65, then I shall uh, stream again, finish up the game. That's going to be Gucci, fam. It's going to be Gucci. I'll also work on my living Pokedex, which will be awesome. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Talk about easy peasy lemon squeezy. I know I do not need a growlith. We're gonna catch one just in case. I only have the Arcanine, because that might actually be a thing. Okay. 
Okay. This is also how I get super duper rich, y'all. Super duper rich. Like, I get so much money, I don't even need it. Okay. So let me check my boxes, see what I've got. So Growlithe is 213. Just wish that these boxes didn't take so long to load. Scanning for Arcanine. Okay. I do not need a Growlithe. So you get to go here and you get to go into my wonder trades. Okay. Where is our next Pokemon? It's this fire type here. And as I'm doing this, I'll fight trainers, I'll pull up staves for the shrines. Oh, I ran into something. <laughs> They're so tiny! So itty bitty! I hear a gimme ghoul. Are you on the island? Oh, I heard one. Ooh, I missed an item? I always use my, uh, terror rating as an excuse to, like, find items that I've missed. Oh look, there's a stave I've missed. So let's pull this out. Yes, pull out the stake. Pull out the stake and spear it through the vampire's heart. Okay. I also need to be like finding those towers that I may have missed. Because that's where you can get the most gimme gold coins, is by, uh, grinding those. A four star? Let's go. Oh, it's a detonate. Don't drop that detonate. Oh, don't drop that detonate. Actually, I think I need to catch this. Oi! My hips are, my hips are not lying. They are hurting. It's a Didene. It's a cute little Didene. It's a <sighs> not good for my quick with all. But we'll we'll see. Okay, using some charm. Not the paralyze. Stun hacks suck. So when she use a heal chant. <laughs> okay. Lisa's not doing too much damage to me. But yeah, we're just we're just chilling and vibing. Chilling and vibing, doing some battling. Whew. 
This should pack some power. Really? Huh. I'm gonna do a heal chant just to get rid of this paralysis. There we go. So pretty. Not a critical. Dang. You know what? I need to be leveling up Quaquaval before I do Skeledurge. Because this is not good. I'm not used to four stars being difficult. <laughs> Come on. Not the paralyzed. Oh, I'm gonna have to do another heal chant. Hmm. Ooh, that was a full heal. Noise. I must have been chanting so loud. Okay, come on. Stop with the paralyze hacks. No. I'm running out of aqua staff. No. Oh my gosh. I might have to try this again with a stronger water type, but I don't know what I would use. It's the Starn Paralyzed Yax. I'm stun locked. Yeah, I might not get this one. How wooed. If I could just get the shield to be broken. There we go. If I can just get one more hit off, it sh it might do it. Okay, this might get it. It should. Did it did it work? <gasps> no, it was like on one HP. No, what? Wow, how rude. Hold up, I'm not giving up on this dead and eh? But after after I do defeat this dead and eh, I am probably going to wrap up stream. Um like I said, I'll pl I'll play this off stream. Um Let's see. Do I have a better Pokemon? Fire's also weak to ground. Hmm. It's only a forty five, but potentially do duck trio let's try duck trio we'll give this a shot if this doesn't work i i will wrap up stream and a short little stream i, I did plan on doing more but i want to i need to get my pokemon trained up it has also been too long since i played on my scarlet so we'll see 
Um, I am hoping, I know I always say this, but I'm hoping to do a second stream today. I'm gonna make burgers for lunch. That'll also be my dinner because it's enough for two meals. Oh, I should potentially, okay. Sorry, I'm thinking things, I'm thinking too much. What level is four star? What the heck? Um, we'll do a heal. Because that was rude. Why did it not heal that much? Oh my gosh. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Yeah, Drug Trio's gonna faint. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just focus on doing damage and trying to take it out as fast as possible. I think we're doing at least better than with Quick Wall. Well, but dang, that doesn't gleam. That did some work on me. <laughs> well, let's give this a shot. Do you also feel like I'm getting a sore throat? Which is another reason why I would like to end stream a little early. That is not doing nearly enough damage. Okay, but at least Daz and Gleam is doing less. Oh, it's because it used charm. I'm gonna try and do another heal chant. I hope this does a lot more healing than it did before. Okay, yeah, that's the type of heal chan I needed. Please stop using Dazzle and Gleam. It hurts. At least I'm not getting stun locked. I'm just having to deal with damage. No, not another charm. That's why it's not doing much, because my attack harshly falls. Stop using Dazzling Gleam! And a charm? Oh my gosh. I might just let him faint so that the, the uh, frickin' frackin' charms because yeah look it's barely doing any damage dang okay this sucks <laughs> oh yeah we definitely don't have enough time huh i have to come back to this one later no yeah. rude well, this is where I'm going to end things. Here, I'll just go like this. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day. I will, like I said, I always try to, but I will try and stream later today. Um, but for sure, I, um, I, yeah, that was, that was rude. So I shall see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye.